the, uh... Thank you, uh, Speaker. And my question is to the Premier. Premier, in late December, my riding received some truly devastating news. The governor of Michigan, through its governor, Whitmer, announced that they would be revoking and terminating the Enbridge Line 5 easement agreement in the Straits of Mackinac. Line 5 has been safely in operation for over 68 years, transporting western oil, natural gas liquids from Superior, Wisconsin through Michigan to Sarnia as part of Enbridge's pipeline system. Line 5 is a key energy conduit artery. Its continued operation is necessary to meet the energy demands in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Ontario, and Quebec. In Sarnia Lampton alone, over 5,000 people are directly employed by the petrochemical and fuel industry. A further 23,500 jobs in my community are directly related to providing services and supporting the refining and chemistry industry. Speaker, can the Chair. Premier please share what the cancellation of Line 5 would mean to the rest of the province? Thank you. And the Premier to reply. I thank the, the member from Sarnia. You know, Mr. Speaker, I put a call into Governor Whitmer waiting to hear back. We put letters in there. I don't think the governor understands the destruction she is creating, along with her attorney general down there. I know the member has been working around the clock as well with his counterparts in the U.S., and we're communicating back and forth to congressmen, senators, anyone who wants to listen down there. The decision, again, by the governor of Michigan to terminate the easement agreement is totally unacceptable. The decision will directly impact 5,000 jobs in Sarnia and surrounding areas, and to, to mention all the indirect jobs throughout the province thousands, and not to mention with our great neighbours to the south of the border, that's going to create absolute chaos down there and tens of thousands of jobs. I'll give you an example. Pearson Airport, largest airport in, in Toronto, Response. it's in my riding, surrounded by other ridings as well, it's going to be shut down. How are we going to get from point A to point B? How are we going to get goods from point A to point B when they want to cut off this line? It's unacceptable. Thank you. The supplementary question. <clears throat> Well, thank you, uh, Speaker, and thank you, Premier, for that uh, answer. I'd like to make my supplemental question back to the Premier as well. Premier, Federal National Resources Minister O'Regan said it best. The only way to address this issue, we will need a Team Canada approach. For more than six decades, Enbridge's Line 5 has meant good paying jobs for Ontario and Michigan workers. It's hard to overstate its significance to our shared economy and to good union jobs and non-union jobs. Line 5 safely delivers fuel that powers our job site, that heats our homes, that makes so many thousands of jobs possible, like at the airport uh, for the fuel. Over the last six plus decades, it's meant consistent, reliable work for the union laborers and business who work on with uh, the infrastructure in industry that supports it. As our province recovers from COVID-19, these kinds of jobs are more important Question. than ever. Speaker, can the Premier please spare with my constituents and this House about his concern for the cancellation of this project and how we will support the working men and women of my riding? Thank you. Thank you. Response by the Premier. Again, for fighting for the people of Sarnia and the people of Ontario. We're here to fix the problem collectively, not separately. I implore the, the Prime Minister the leader of the opposition, the leader of the Liberals, doesn't matter if you're green, purple, pink, whatever party you're from, we need to fight for Ontario jobs. And I'm encouraging again, if the leader of the opposition is, is listening, Mr. Speaker, to join us to fight for jobs. Let me quote from Scott Archer, UA Local 663 Pipe Fitter Union, which are big supporters, uh, about the effect of ending Line 5. Quote, basically, it would kick the legs out from under Every refinery in town, it would have a devastating effect on employment in Sarnia. And I ask the Leader of the Opposition, are you pro-worker, are you pro-union, then join us, because we're the party for the working class, Respond. not the NDP and not the Liberals. 